Hi everybody, it's Kay Bailey here from kaybailey.com and today we're going to talk about a very serious topic, the topic of the international conflicts, the geopolitical stuff around the world. And I know it feels so overwhelming to have so much conflict going on and such terrible images that we're seeing and the death rates. It is just overwhelming and we can feel very helpless because there's really very little we can do. And yet we want to help people. We don't want to see this happening. And that's fantastic that we want to help. But of course, mostly we can't. We can send some money. We can you know, support some organizations that are helping. But there's not a lot we can do individually. And yet that feeling pervades us, that feeling of like the world's feeling awful, the conflict, the, the, the weight on us. Um, but having those feelings actually doesn't help the world and it's not helping us either. And it's actually taking us away from being able to make more money, to feel, um, to be able to help others, to be able to share our love with the people around us that still need us as well. And you know, maybe we can, if we increase our business, then we've got more money that we can help support organizations that are helping others. So having that stress in our lives is not valuable to us. So I suggest we tap it away. So thinking about that feelings, the feelings that you've got about the world and the pressure on top of, can you feel it on your shoulders? Is that where you're feeling it? Your chest, it's hard to breathe. Are you feeling like, like, what's the point? Like, tap into whatever it is you're feeling at the moment about it all. Just that helplessness, I think, is the one I feel. It's like, and, and a bit of overwhelm about, like, it's just, it seems to be getting worse. And like, when will they all realize that we're all just humans and we need to live happily together? Um, and see if you can rate that. Give it a number out of 10. So if you're struggling to even breathe because of it, that's a 10. If you're feeling stressed and worried, but you know most of the time you sort of just get on with your life, then maybe that's a 5 or a 6. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then that's probably a 1. All right, so feel that feeling and give it a number. And we'll start with tapping on the side of our hands. If you don't know what I'm doing, that's fine. Just follow along and say the things I'm saying. If there's something I'm saying that doesn't um, resonate with you, that's fine. You say what does. I change my words. So we start with, even though I am feeling so stressed about the stuff that's happening through the world, the geopolitical stuff that's just overwhelming and I love and accept that this is how I feel even though I am really overwhelmed by all of the pressures around the world and I can feel it affecting me and I love and accept that this is who I am even though it feels so stressful you just have to, a little bit of news and more people have died and more things are going wrong and it just feels terrible. I love and accept that I have these feelings. Because it does, it makes you a very loving person. All right, here, but, oh, move the glasses. I'm stressed. I'm overwhelmed. I feel helpless. I have no idea what I can do different. I feel helpless because there's nothing I can do. All those people being bombed. All those people without food or shelter. I feel guilty that I'm sitting here comfortable. I don't know what else I can do different. I wish I could just tell them all to stop. Oh, but they're not going to listen to me. 
I don't know what to do. And it's so awful. And it's so overwhelming. And I feel so sad. All those people struggling just to live. And I feel guilty that I get to live here in this comfortable country, in this comfortable home, while other people have no home. I feel awful. And I really don't know what to do about it. But it is, it's affecting my life. It's affecting my sleep. It's affecting how well I function every day. I feel overwhelmed. I feel sad. I feel helpless. I don't know what I can do. I suspect there's not much I can do. Oh, I feel so sad. I feel so overwhelmed. This is really hard. Okay, what I want you to do now is have a stop. Have a deep breath. And let those feelings go. Feeling like I can't. There really isn't much you can do. So let it go. Let's tap again. I know there's not much I can do. And I don't like feeling so helpless. But I can look after my little world. I can make sure there's no contention in my circle of influence. I can spread the message of peace. I can share my feelings of optimism and enthusiasm and love. I can offer people hope. And I can make more money. Because with more money, I can help more people. I can share. I can support organisations that can help. And I can let the stress go in my system, knowing I'm doing the best I can. I can't help every single person in the world. But I do have a circle of people around me that I can help. There are organisations that want my time or my talents or my money. And I can support them. I can choose what I can do and support other people in their choices and keep hope for the world. I can let my stress go and work on the things that I can do and know that I'm doing my part by not adding to the negativity of the world but adding to the positive, adding to the love. I can do my best. Big breath. And tap into those feelings again. How does that feel? Can you feel the difference? I hope so. Because that is all we can do is our circle of influence. Let's share the love in that. Bye.